good morning students today i am going to discuss the last section of the chapter relations and function that section is called as binary operations binary operations so in this section you may get one mark one question or you may get two mark question or you may get so on the section three mark question anyone maximum time there is a one mark question on this section so for a the first question will be on this section maximum many times yes see binary operations binary operations operations means any operation this may be any fundamental operations means addition subtraction multiplication division or union or intersection any operation these are as you study in all the last classes so here binary means by means two binary means the result of two elements under this operation what you get right so binary operation say here if you consider capital a is any non empty set right any set it is and star is any operation this operation may be any either fundamental operation any operation that you know it may be plus or it may be minus or it may be multiplication or it may be division or it may be union or it may be intersection and so on any operation if you consider star as here this non empty set may be anything it is it may be set of all natural numbers or it may be set of all integers or it may be set of all rational numbers or it may be set of all irrational numbers or it may be set of all real numbers or it may be set of all complex numbers anything whatever the value of this set a it is the non empty set if you can see say this operation star on the non empty set it is said to be binary operation here the condition is that this operation star must be a function right from a cross a to the set a it must be a function from a cross a to a then only to say that this operation star on the non empty set a it is the binary operation otherwise you say that this operation is not a binary operation right how you denote here a cross a containing ordered pair of elements a containing the natural numbers elements whatever that here for each ordered pair ab if you consider here ab is any ordered pair of the cartesian group a cross a so how you define this so for each ordered pair ab under this operation star it is defined as or it is usually denoted by a star b right for ab is any ordered pair of this cartesian product under this operation star that is star of a comma b it is equal to a star b right this is the definition or this is the notation right for example if you want to check here this set a it is the set of all natural numbers if you consider this operation star it is the operation plus i am going to check this operation addition on the set of all natural numbers it is the binary or not for that check whether whether this operation plus on the set n it is the function or not if it is the function 
then you can say this operation is the binary. If it is not a function, then it is not binary. Function means here this addition on this set n, it is a function from n cross n to it is n. Right? For each order field a b in n cross n. It is a comma b is any order pair of n cross n. Under this operation addition, we get this. How you define a star b? Star means a star b means it is a star means here plus it is b. For each order pair a b under this operation, it is defined as a plus b. This a plus b is the result of n. Whether this is the result of n or not. For each order pair a b under this given operation, the result is an element of this set n. If it is the result of this set n, then you can say this operation star. This operation plus from n cross n to n is a function. If there exists at least one order pair a b in this Cartesian product for which the result that is plus of a comma b is equal to a plus b which is not an element of n. If there is at least one element right in this Cartesian product for which the resultant element a plus b is not an element of n then you can directly say that this addition on this side n is not a binary operation because this function addition it is not defined means it is not defined means the result of this order pair under this operation is not an element of n means it is not a so function or at that point this function is not defined if this function is not defined means it is not a function therefore this is the binary operation because the addition of any two natural number it is again a natural number the result is again a natural number so the addition on this side n it is a binary operation so addition natural number means they are the counting numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and so on the pair of natural numbers if you add any two pair of natural numbers the result is again a natural number that is 1 plus 2 is 3 3 is a natural number 2 plus 3 is 5 5 is a natural number and so on if you consider any pair we get the result as the again a natural number so that's why this addition is a it is binary operation so if you consider one more operation on this set of all natural number this is called as subtraction operation on this set n check whether this operation is a binary or not for that check this operation on this set n it is a function from n cross n to n means each order pair if you consider a b in n cross n under this operation minus, it is defined as a minus b. It is defined as a minus b. This a minus b is the result. Right? Is the result. This result is an element of n or not. For each order pair n cross n, under this operation, the result is an element of n or not. If the result is an element of n, then you can directly say that this is a function or this function is defined for all the values of this n cross n, so it is a function. If there exists any one element in n cross n for which the result is not an element of n, then you can say that the operation is not a function because at that point the given function is not defined means it is not a function generally. So here it is a function or not. See? Here, this is the n cross n means set of all order pair of natural numbers. That is here 1, 1 if you can see that. It is the 1 order pair. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, and so on. All these pairs are there in this set. I am going to consider any order pair. 
this is the one comma one. So it is the arbitrary order of in this one. I am going to apply this operation. Minus on this, we get the result as one minus one. One minus one is the result as zero. Zero is not a natural number. Zero is an integer. So it is not belongs to this set here. At this point, the given function is not defined means generally this function is not a uh, this operation. It is not a function. It is not a function means this is not a binary operation because this function is not defined at this point. Similarly, you may also consider any element, any order pair one comma two under this operation. This as one minus two equal to minus one minus one is not a natural number, right? It is. 2 comma 3, 3 comma 4, and so on. In this way, we get many order pair of natural numbers for which the result is not a natural number, so it is not a binary operation. Yes, it is a binary operation. This is not a binary operation. Addition is a binary operation, right? Similarly, if you go to the third operation as multiplication on this set of all natural numbers. Check whether this operation is a binary or not. Here means here this is the function from n cross n to n or not. Check it. If it is the function, then you can say that it is the binary, right? If if this operation, this is said to be function. What is the condition? Here this must be a defined. This operation must be a defined for each order pair of natural numbers. Right? If this function is not defined at least at any one point in this order pair, therefore the given function is not a binary. Right? So check whether this operation is defined. This function is defined for all the order pair of natural numbers or not? Means if you consider any pair A B in the so. Order in the notation product n cross n under this operation multiplication, right? The result is a into b, right? If we consider any two order pair of natural numbers, the result, the multiplication of two natural number is a natural number or not? Yes, one and two are the natural numbers. So their product is one into two is a two. Two is a natural number, right? Two and three are the pair of natural numbers. Two into three is six. Three and four. Three into four is twelve, and so on. So each order pair of n cross n under this operation multiplication, the result a into b. It is also an element of n. So this will start here into multiplication on the set of all natural numbers is a function from n cross n to n. Therefore. This operation is a binary operation, right? So because the multiplication of two natural numbers is again a natural number from the property, you can also say like this. So this is the binary operation. Next one, if you consider division operation on this set of all natural numbers, check whether this operation on this set of all natural numbers is a binary or not. For that, it will be function from n cross n to n or. Right means if you consider any order pair A B under this operation division, it is defined as A divided by B. It is a defined or not for each order pair A B in A cross A. Means the result is an element of N or not. Right? Okay. I am going to consider the one order pair. It is one comma two is an order pair. Any arbitrary order pair. Any order pair in N cross N under this operation. Division. This is defined as one divided by two, right? This is defined as from this definition. A means one. B means two. A divided by B means one divided by two. This one by two is an element of n. No, it is not a natural number. It is the rational number because natural numbers are the only counting numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, right? Not the this numbers generally. This number is called as the rational number, particular, right? This is not a natural. Any number it is of the form a by b, where b is not equal to zero, is called as rational number. So this is the rational number, not a natural number. Therefore, this is not belongs to n. 
right? Therefore, this division operation on the set of natural number is not a function because there exists some order pairs in B and cross N for which the result. So the division of that order pairs is not a natural numbers. Therefore, this operation is not a what is that binary operation, right? In this way. Similarly, I am going to check the these fundamental operations on the set of all real numbers. Again, I am going to consider operation star is an operation. This operation star is Consider, I am going to consider as plus on this set of all real numbers. R is a set of all real numbers. On this set of all real numbers, this addition operation is a binary or not? Means check it is a function from R cross R to R or not. Means for each order pair A, B in R cross R, under this operation addition, the result is A plus B is an element of R or Yes, because the addition of any two real number is a real number. That's why this operation addition it is defined for all the order pair of this R cross R. So it is the function. It is the function means the addition operation on this set of all real number is a binary operation. Similarly, if you consider minus operation on the set of all real numbers that is minus operation on the set of all real numbers as it is check whether it is a function or not for that each order pair the result under this operation is a real number of yes that is order pair ab is any order pair of this r cross r under this operation minus it is as a minus b so from the properties of real numbers, the subtraction of two real numbers is a real number. It is belongs to R. This is a real number. So again, minus on the set of all real number is a binary operation. Similarly, if you consider the next operation as multiplication on the set of all real numbers, it is considered as R cross R to R. Check whether it is a function or not. For that, each order pair of R cross R under this operation is a R R. Here, A comma B is any order pair of this R cross R under this operation multiplication. The result is A into B. So again from the properties, the multiplication of two real numbers is again a real number. Therefore, this is belongs to R. Therefore, multiplication on this side R is a natural binary operation. Similarly, if you consider division operation on the set of all real numbers, that is division, it is a function from R plus R to R. For that, here the division of two real numbers is a real number. Means, if you consider any order pair AB under the operation division, it is defined as A divided by B. The division of two real numbers is a real number? Yes, of course, but when if the denominator is non-zero real number. If the denominator is non-zero real number, then the division of two non-zero real numbers is a real number. In this set of all real numbers, set of all real numbers may be 0, 1, it is 2, minus 1, minus 2 and so on. Any counting numbers or any integers or any rational or irrational, including all these numbers, we get the real number. If the value of B may be 0 or any real number. If the value of B is 0, possible value of B is 0, then at the point B is equal to 0, the result A divided by B is not defined. It is not defined. It goes to the infinity. We cannot say its value. We cannot say this is a real number. So, if B is equal to 0, then then this is not a real number. This is not belongs to R. At this point, the given function is not taken. So, this division operation on this set of all real number is a not a binary operation. Right? Because 
if the denominator b value is zero in the product, then this result is not a real number. Similarly, instead of this set of all real number, if you consider set of all non-zero real number, ask non-zero real numbers, except zero, all the real numbers. So the division operation on this set of all non-zero real numbers, it is considered as division from R star to R cross, R star cross R star to R star. Right? It is defined as for each order pair A B under this operation is A divided by B. Here B value, A value, B value are non-zero. The division of two non-zero real number is a real number. Yes, this is a real number because here the value of B is never zero because B and A are the elements of A star. A star is the set of all non-zero real number. It is it belongs to A star. Here we can say that this operation, what is that? Division on the set of all non-zero real numbers is a binary operation. In this way, if you consider any operation star on any set, right? Star may be any operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, union, intersection, and so on. Any operation as you study, right? On any non-empty set. So you can say whether that operation on this set is a binary or not. You can check easily by using this definition, right? So based on this definition, we are going to study some examples that are for the one mark. That is in part A, the first question will be there on this section. Okay, the example is that determine. Determine, determine whether or not, whether or not, determine whether or not each of the definition of star, each of the definition. Each of the definition of star, each of the definition of the star given below, given below, given below, gives a binary operation, gives a binary operation. Binary operations. Use of binary operations. In the event that in the event that in the event that star is not a binary operation. Star is not a binary star is not a binary operation star is not a binary operation justify ever answer justify justification justify that right if the operation in the event that if the operation is not a binary operation justify that one do the justification for it Right, this is the so question. Examples are the first one example is on Z plus the set is given as set Z plus Z plus means the positive integer define define star bar star bar a star b equal to a minus b a star b equal to a minus B. Second one is on Z plus. On Z plus define star bar A star B equal to it is A into B. A into B. Third one is on the real numbers. 
define star bar a star b equal to a star b equal to a into b square fourth one on z plus on z plus define star bar a star b equal to a star b equal to modulus of a minus b modulus of a minus b on z plus define star bar a star b equal to a a star b equal to a these are the few examples right so for the one mark question right in part a we make it say i am going to check whether this operation star defined on the this set it is the binary part it means that this operation star on this set z plus it is a function from z plus to cross z plus cross z z plus cross z plus to z plus part it is the function part that is from z plus cross z plus to z plus so solution for that it is here the operation star on this set of all real numbers it is defined right defined as for each a star b equal to this as a minus b here a comma b here a comma b it is the any order pair of z plus cross z plus right here this a comma b is any element of z plus cross z plus the result right a and b are any positive integers the result is a minus b from the properties if you know from the properties the subtraction of two positive integers positive integers are nothing but natural numbers the subtraction of two natural number is a natural number arbitrarily generally if the subtraction of all the natural numbers or all the pair of positive integers the result is a positive integer then we can say that this is star on this set z plus is a function from z plus cross z plus to z plus otherwise it is not means this operation star must be defined for all the order pair ab of z plus cross z plus if this operation star is not defined at any one point of z plus cross z plus then this is not a binary operation right we are going to check this see in this z plus there is a one order pair it is 1 comma 2 is and one order pair in the z plus cross z plus there is one order pair. if you apply this operation on this then then here this is the star it means that one star one star 2 is equal to this as 1 minus 2 equal to this as minus if you apply the operation this operation on this order pair 1 comma 2 in this right so set z plus cross z plus as 1 star 2 equal to 1 star 2 means 1 minus 2 equal to minus 1 minus 1 it is the result of this 1 star 2 this result is an element of z plus or not if it is an element of z plus then you can say it is the right function otherwise this function is not a one otherwise at this point the function is not a Minus one is not a. It is a z plus. It is a negative integer. It is not a positive integer. So at the point, at the point means the order pair one comma two in z plus cross z plus. The result of this one star two or one comma two 
is minus 1 which is not an element of z plus so at this point 1 comma 2 the given function what is that star is not defined therefore this is not a binary operation on the set of all right positive integers so here here star is not star is not a binary not a binary operation is not a binary operation on z plus next so for this only we get one mass this is sufficient to say whether this operation on the set is a binary one if the operation is not binary why it is not binary so take or consider any element of that order pair the resultant element is not an element of the set if you say then we can say that given operation is not binary if it is binary we can say that for each order pair a b in this result the result is also an element of this z plus then we can say it is the binary okay let's go to the second example second example is on z plus the operation is defined as given here a star b equal to it is a into b this is the operation for each order a a comma b in z plus cross z plus this is the product means star a star b is equal to a into b a and b are the positive integers a star b equal to a into b means this star goes to the the result of this star is defined as multiplication of two positive integers right the multiplication of two positive integers is an positive integer for each order of a a b of the z plus plus z plus right under this operation star is defined as multiplication of two positive integers the result that is the multiplication of two positive integers of all the z plus cross z plus is an element of z plus or not right if it is an element then it is the binary so as you know the property of the positive integers so if i have any two positive integers the result is a positive integer the subtraction is not possible if you multiply any positive integers to positive integer the result is also a positive integer so it is belongs to z plus right for any two order phase a comma b in z plus cross z plus the result is product of two positive integer is a positive integer from the property so here we can say that star is a binary operation star is a binary operation by the operation on z plus next go to the third one it is is this third one it is given operation what is that a star b equal to a b square on a given that right here given a star b equal to it is a into b square a into b square check whether this operation on the set of all real number is a binary operation so here a star b it is defined as square of a and b are any real numbers it is defined on the set means these are any orbital real numbers it is defined as a into b square means square of second element into the first element it is the definition a is also real number b is also b is also real number a is also real number the result is a into b square See, A and B are the real numbers, square of real numbers. From the properties of real numbers, square of real numbers are the real numbers. Yes, these are the real numbers. Square of real number is a real number. Means, what you say about the product, A is a real number, B square is a real number, product of two real number is also a real number. Therefore, the product this with respect to the real number B, B square is a real number. Therefore, B square is a real number, that is A is a real number, therefore the product of two real number is a real number, this is belongs to R. Therefore, the operation star is a binary. Therefore, the operation star is a binary operation. 
on it is r next go to the fourth fourth one is on z plus the operation is given that write the given a star b equal to magnitude of a minus b or modulus of a minus b so on the z plus check whether it is a binary or not here a is the positive integer b is the positive integer modulus of a minus b it means that a minus b with respect to the two positive integers the subtraction of two positive integers may positive may not positive subtraction it is a minus b it may be belongs to z plus or it may not be belongs to z plus again go to agree right if a plus a minus b is a positive integer there is no doubt about this is the binary if a minus b is not belongs to z plus it means that if the a minus b value is minus in terms of minus the result of a minus b is negative then here our definition is modulus modulus means it is the absolute value right absolute means its duty is to raise a number into positive power right any number it may be positive or negative modulus means this number is going to be converted into the absolute value it means that the positive value if this value is negative then the modulus of negative is a positive absolute positiveness if this value is positive then it is gives the positive only right for the any arbitrary values of a arbitrary values of positive integral values of a and b the result a minus b may be positive or may not but the modulus of the a minus b the modulus of the negative integer is a positive integer the modulus of positive integer is always a positive integer but the zero is not a positive integer right zero is not belongs to z plus but zero is an integer but not a positive integer but if you apply the modulus the modulus of zero it means that zero is a integer modulus means positive modulus duty is convert a every number into positive therefore modulus of zero is the positive integer this is the special case here right so for each positive values of a and b this is an algorithm of z plus so this is an algorithm of z plus means our operation star on z plus is a binary is a binary operation this is the fourth next one fifth example it is on the z plus here given that a star b equal to this as a right the operation star on these two positive integers a and b the result is the first positive integer right the result is only the first positive integer here a and b are the any positive or negative positive integer under this operation star the result is the first positive integer a is also positive integer b is also positive integer therefore the result is except b the result is only the first positive integer means a is already it is the arbitrary positive integer the result is also an element of z plus so this operation star on the set of all positive integer is a binary operation therefore star is binary on z plus so these are the one mark questions in this way so in part a the questions may involve question papers next example example here is <coughs> let let 
B either capital P B either set of all right B either set of all subsets set of all subsets of the set capital A right P either set of all subsets of the set capital A so that so that the operation pvm it is defined as the function from p cross p to p the operation pvm from p cross p to p p cross p to p given bar given bar the order pair a comma b in any order pair a comma b in p cross p the result is given by a union b a union b is the research and the operation intersection from p cross p to p is given by is given by a comma b under the suppression is a intersection b a intersection b are binary on the set p are binary in the set p are binary in the set p subsets of a set capital A show that linear operation from P cross P to P is defined by the orbital element A comma B in the set P cross P suppose if you consider instead of this one this set as EX set because this A is confused with this A that's why I am going to replace this set as capital X P with the set of all subsets of the set capital X. It is we are going to show that the operation union from P cross P to P is given by like this. The operation intersection it is defined like this. R the binary on P means the union of two orbital sets. Right? The union of two orbital sets is an element of the set P or not. For that, the first one is solution. Here, the solution is that if you consider a comma b is any element of the p cross p, any orbital element of p cross p, then then the operation union on this order pair a comma b is defined as a union b. Union on each order pair of this Cartesian product. So, and the union, right, of all the order pair of this Cartesian product, it is defined as A union B. The operation is seen. It is defined like this. Here, A and B are the any the orbital subsets which are present in P cross P. A and B are. And all the subsets of the set capital X, right? So from the set A, it is very clear that if A is any given set and P of A is the set of all subsets of the set, it means that the power set or which containing all the subsets of it, the union, the power set, properties of the power set is the union of all. The elements of this power set are also the elements of this power set. The intersection of all the elements of this power set is also element of the power set. This is the properties. That's why applying that property, a comma b is any order pair which is present in P cos p. Therefore, the union of any two sets in P cos p is again an element of P only, which is belongs to P only. 
therefore this operation therefore this operation in here from p cross p to p is a function is a function therefore the function means union is a binary union is a binary operation similarly next go to the second one thank you second one is define an orbital element similar to a comma b in the notation for p cross p then apply the operation that operation is intersection intersection on the order pair a comma b it is defined as a intersection b second one okay second one again from the property i already told in the so expression of the power set that is the intersection of any two sets is again a set present in that power set only therefore it is belongs to p therefore again the intersection is also a uh, is also a binary operation binary on this set p so this is the one more example in this way the examples one more examples are there in this binary operation section next in this section is the laws of binary operations right laws of binary operation means commutative law associative law existence of identity existence of inverse these are the four laws of the binary operations right so based on these four laws of the binary operations the examples are also examples and the laws of these binary operations are remaining section in this binary operations that are discussed in the next class thank you